unfortunate enough to be confirmed, we will turn the page on hate and close the door on discrimination by enforcing our federal civil rights laws. That was a woman called Kristen Clark speaking in an event last week for her new boss, President-elect Joe Biden. Kristen Clark is Joe Biden's pick to run the Justice Department's enormously powerful civil rights division. Clark says her job is simple, it's to end hate. But like so many in her world, Clark is in fact an enthusiastic purveyor of what she claims to fight. Clark's been on this show several times. A new investigation, though, by our reporters has uncovered shocking, and we don't use that word lightly, legitimately shocking statements that Clark made in public while at Harvard. In 1994, Clark wrote a letter to the Harvard Crimson in her capacity as the president of the Black Studies Association. Clark wanted to explain her views on race science. Quote, Please use the following theories and observations to assist you in your search for truth regarding the genetic differences between blacks and whites. End quotes. You know it's going to be interesting. And it was. Quote, One, Dr. Richard King reveals that the core of the human brain is the locus coeruleus, which is a structure that is black because it contains large amounts of neuromelanin, which is essential for its operation. Two, black infants sit, crawl, and walk sooner than whites. Three, Carol Barnes notes that human mental processes are controlled by melanin, that same chemical which gives blacks their superior physical and mental abilities. Four, some scientists have revealed that most whites are unable to produce melanin because their pineal glands are often calcified or non-functioning. Pineal calcification rates with Africans are 5 to 15 percent, Asians 15 to 25 percent, and Europeans 60 to 80 percent. This is the chemical basis for the cultural differences between blacks and whites. And five, melanin endows blacks with greater mental, physical, and spiritual abilities, something which cannot be measured based on Eurocentric standards. End quote. Let that sink in. Melanin endows black people with greater mental, physical, and spiritual abilities. No, that's not an editorial from the final call, Louis Farrakhan's free newspaper. That is a direct quote from the person Joe Biden is about to put in charge of this country's civil rights laws. Even at Harvard, crackpot theories like that were considered deranged and dangerous. After an outcry on campus, Kristen Clark suggested that she didn't necessarily believe what she had written. Now, the Harvard Crimson, a left-wing paper, did not buy that explanation. Well, does she or doesn't she, wrote the editors. So far, she has given us every indication that she does. And indeed, she did. Just a month later, Kristen Clark invited the noted Trinidadian anti-Semite, Tony Martin, to speak on campus. Martin, then a professor at Wellesley College, was the author of a self-published manifesto called The Jewish Onslaught. In it, Martin chronicled the, quote, escalating Jewish onslaught against black people. Now, for Martin's fans, like Kristen Clark, Martin's speech at Harvard did not disappoint. He attacked both Jews and Judaism as a religion. Tony Martin spent his final years giving speeches to Holocaust denial organizations on topics such as, quote, tactics of organized Jewry in suppressing free speech, end quote. Kristen Clark strongly approved of Tony Martin, and we're not speculating, because as she told the Crimson after his speech, quote, Professor Martin is an intelligent, well-versed black intellectual who bases his information on indisputable fact. So again, directly from Kristen Clark, Tony Martin's anti-Semitism was based on, quote, indisputable fact. Kristen Clark has never shed these views. They've simply become more sophisticated. Just last year, as a lawyer, Clark was fighting for the crudest kind of racial discrimination in college admissions. This fall, she said it was, quote, madness for the federal government to take the side of Asian applicants who had provably been denied college admission purely because of their skin color. But tough luck. As far as Kristen Clark was concerned, those Asians didn't have enough melanin. And melanin is the key. Speaking of madness, in a sane country, someone like Kristen Clark would be under investigation by the Civil Rights Division, not running it. How crazy have we become? Well, we will see if Clark's nomination gets to the U.S. Senate. And if it does, we're in serious trouble. Parler isn't the only tech company fighting back against what 